As a beginner in painting cars, as you can see, I made a few mistakes. One of them was not adjusting the right settings for the spray gun, the paint gun, in using it for clear coat after I painted the car. You do need to set up the flow for the clear coat differently as you use it for spraying paint. I sprayed the clear coat too cool, but mostly too dry. A second mistake I made was my technique. While it was perfect for the paint, spraying the clear coat a little bit too far away was not the best way to do it. Along came the third, and for sure the biggest mistake I made. I left too much time to pass away between the coats. The clear coat managed to drive further between the coats and they didn't get to merge with one another.
While I was very satisfied with the outcome of the paint job, spraying the clear coat seemed to be a piece of cake. Well, it wasn't, as we all can see it now. Spraying the clear coat late at night and being tired from the daily work, I might say that I didn't pay too much attention to it. So the next morning, as I was inspecting the work, I ended up with a, in a dilemma. First in mind was to start over, take the sander, a 800 grit sandpaper and start to rip down the bed clear coat I just played a few hours earlier. But I encountered a bigger problem. It just came to me that I really liked what I had done. In other words, the clear coat feels very interesting while I am running my hand over it, while I am touching it, and it looks good. It is a orange peel, or better to say it looks like some snake skin. It's not in the paint, it's outside, it's more structural. Following up, it was a fast setup change in my mind, and I decided to make the entire car like this. So, let's see what it will look like in the end, if I manage to do it again, to make the same mistakes while spraying the clear coat on the entire car.